Well, Mum's got a photo of me in the backyard um, when I, I think I was maybe two. Um, and I had a, a plastic bat in my hands and was trying to hit a ball around. So um, I think it's always been sport for, for in the family um, and, and cricket was one of those. Um, something I always, always enjoyed doing. Um, played at school with, with mates at school, played at the end of the street with um, the guys in the street that I, I went to school with as well. Um, and dad, dad was heavily involved in the junior club. So it's something that um, was part of my life, life from a young age and, and I could play with my mates and it didn't have to be out on a, in a park, it could be. You know, we played a lot in this uh, this factory in the end of our end of the street. It was it was always quiet on the weekends, so we just play in the car park with with uh, you know the milk crates as the stumps and lose endless amounts of tennis balls on the roof and it, you know get to the end of school holidays and dad'd get on the, the big ladder and get on the roof and pull down 30, 40 tennis balls. I don't know if there was just a moment that, that I thought I could. Uh, it, was, it was this was it. I think I just always loved playing it and. Um, it was something I didn't think, um, for a long time, didn't think that I could um, make a career in cricket. Yeah, I was probably probably lucky in a way that um, I, I found myself take on bowling and, and, and um, sort of found myself in underage teams. Yeah, I've had plenty of, of um, you know, influence on, on my cricket career, if you like, or, or my life. Um, I guess early days, Dad was heavily involved in, in the club. He was the secretary of the, secretary of the club and, and played in the senior team as well. So he was my first coach. Um, he sort of, you know, threw me plenty of cricket balls in the nets, and so he's a big part of, of early days. And he still, I think, he still deep down wants to, um, at times, be that that coach dad when I've, I've had an average day or something like that. But um, yeah, he's, he, he knows better these days. Just to <laughs> let me be. Yeah, pulling on the baggy green for the first time um, was an incredible moment. I'll never, never forget it. To be in that, um, I guess that circle, and, and there were two other boys making their debut that day with, with James Pattinson and David Warner, and um, I was I was fortunate enough to have my my cap presented by Richie Benno, and it was really special for me. And, and um, look, it's one of my most prized possessions. Um, something that every kid who wants to play cricket for Australia and loves cricket wants to pull on the baggy green and, and to to be fortunate enough to, to be able to, to receive one and, and um, play a few few games for Australia is very special to me. Uh, what would I tell my 16 year old self? I probably tell him to enjoy the journey. Um, I think it can be a very up and down journey of any professional athlete um, or any person in any profession really. The ups and downs of the journey, it's uh, it probably what makes the journey um, all the more special, I think, and, and I've definitely had plenty of ups and downs through injury and, and, and selection and, and performance and the rest of it. So um, I think it's something that I've I've learned to get a lot better with the older I've gotten and the more I've played. So maybe if I could tell my younger self to enjoy those ups and downs a bit more um, from the early days, I might be uh, might be in an even better place, I guess. Close, very close. Yes, he's got him and look out, he's got him stuck strikes again.